Patience friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing not my Sunford pick for, um, but my mom's. Um, this is a fragrance, I forget if she got it this month or last month, but she just didn't like it and she gave it to me and I've been wearing it and I figured I'd review it for you guys. So it's from Rag and & Bone and it's Incense and I'll let you guys know what I think. Let me tell you a little bit about my mom and me when it comes to skin chemistry and things like that. It'll give you kind of an idea of why she might hate something and I might love something or I might not like something and it works amazing on her. Everyone's skin chemistry is different and my mom and I, we both pull different notes way differently. Um, the notes that she pulls the most of are woodsy notes. She pulls them very true um, and very intense, which is why she doesn't like any oud fragrances or any really heavily woody fragrances, because it's literally just like her skin is made of bark. Now, I'm the opposite. Like, woodsy notes on my skin are a little bit more uh, muted, which lets the other notes come out and really work together and just be very balanced and create a lot of magic and harmony on my skin. Um, that being said, um, citruses pull way stronger on me than they do on her, so fragrances that she might think work for her don't work amazing on me and vice versa. An example of this would be um, a fragrance I just reviewed, Ode Adrian from Anique Goutal. Um, it's a beautiful lemon fragrance, but cypress is one of those notes that pulls so synthetic on my skin, it doesn't matter what's mixed in it. It smelled really beautiful, but it took about five hours for that fragrance to really develop and be as beautiful as it should be on everybody. Now on my mom, since she pulls those woodsy notes and like those green notes a lot more stronger, it was so apparent and it mixed so beautifully with everything else. It was what I believe that fragrance is, which is a beautiful symphony of like lemon and bright crispness, and it was just absolutely beautiful on her. So it's kind of like, um, with this fragrance here is, it's kind of like, it's got amber and musk and a lot of other things that just don't work well on her skin, um, which is why I'm reviewing it um, but it wasn't my pick. So I'm not saying that this is a bad fragrance going into this, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know. If I ever review a fragrance and I'm like, oh, this is what my mom didn't work on her, she gave it to me, I'm not going to give it a negative review or a positive review. It depends on how it works on me and what I think, but just it's how different fragrances work on different people. Now that I've talked a little bit too long about this, let's get into it. It was released in 2016 and it is a unisex fragrance. The top notes of this are black pepper, alemi, and bergamot. The heart notes are myrrh, incense, and olib olibinum. I can never pronounce anything that isn't like four letters. <laughs> and the base notes are amber and musk and cystus. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Kistus or cystus? I think it's cystus. Um, this fragrance, um, on my mom's skin, because I smell it on her skin, it's a little bit too much of the musk and the myrrh. Um, so I can see how she wouldn't like that because she doesn't like those fragrances. But I will say on my skin, this pulls really nicely. What I like most about this fragrance is the pepper. It's got that cool, kind of almost like spice bomb from Victor and Rolf pepper like it's a very cool crisp like rugged pepper but there's just something really really warm about it and I like that mix of amber and pepper I actually really like when fragrances are kind of balanced and they're almost like fighting each other um, like the yin and yang of warm and cool sour and sweet crisp and not crisp <laughs> Um, it's just, it's really nice to have a variety of different scents going on in your nose. It creates a lot of complexity and depth. Um, so this fragrance does have that, which is really, really nice. Um, I don't get much bergamot. I really don't get much musk on my skin. I do get myrrh later on, probably a few hours after wearing it. So overall, this to me pulls way more masculine unisex than feminine unisex. There's really no sweetness, but there is a smoothness um, underneath the um, spice of the pepper. And again, that's probably from the myrrh and the amber. 
Now I will say a few things about this fragrance, but I'll get more into it after I go into projection and sillage. The projection of this fragrance is really nice. It's arm's length, which is going to create a really nice scent cloud around you, but it's not going to overpower anything. So although this is a little spiced and a little bit different, this would be a very work appropriate fragrance. On top of that, I do like the fact that the uh, longevity on this is around five to six hours. Um, it does take a few hours to really develop on your skin, at least that's what I've noticed. It takes about two to three hours for everything to kind of settle in and be what this fragrance is supposed to be. Um, and then you've got a few hours of wear when it's reached its peak. So the dry down of this is really beautiful, but it does take a little bit of time for it to develop on your skin. But I did kind of want to touch on something about this fragrance that is a negative. I mean, I love the way it smells. I really enjoy it on my skin. Great longevity, great sillage. So what negatively would I have to say about this? the same issue I had with the Melon and Goat's Dark Rum fragrance. I really liked that fragrance. And I've been liking it more and more the more I'm wearing it. But when I heard the name of that fragrance, I was expecting something different. That one's more of a more soapy, boozy rum. Like you just got out of the shower and you accidentally spilled rum on your body and for some reason it smells really really good and I get a lot of compliments on that fragrance but when I was reading the notes and I smelled it I was expecting something completely different and I was kind of let down that's with this fragrance although it's a beautiful fragrance and I'm really really enjoying it when I hear incense I want that incense vibe I don't get much of any incense in this fragrance and I was actually like reading other people's reviews on this. There's not that many, and a lot of people feel the same way. You get pepper, you get this beautiful mix of cool and crisp and warm and sweet. Um, it's just really nice blend of everything, but I don't get much of any incense note. And when the myrrh comes into the party, you get a little bit more of that, but you would never expect that a fragrance called incense, you would virtually not at all smell incense. And so that's kind of like my mom's thing. She didn't really care for it, but she was really excited about it. And then she was kind of let down and her skin pulled out the weird notes. So that's kind of like the negative with this is I feel like when it comes to naming fragrances and when it comes to marketing fragrances, you kind of have to be truthful with the people. The Malin and Goat's Dark Rum, I can kind of understand where they were coming from. It's not what I would expect out of something called Dark Rum, but it is a beautiful fragrance. And I'm probably going to do a, um, an updated review on that in the next few weeks. But this is incense. Incense is a note. Incense is something that people search out and hunt for in their fragrances. If they were to blind buy this, they would be probably disappointed that there was little to no incense notes in this. And I've smelled it on my mom and I've smelled it on me. And this is kind of me going back to her and I pulled different notes completely differently. She didn't get much incense on her skin and neither did I. Generally, overall, I think this is a really beautifully interesting fragrance. I think this is a truly unisex fragrance. I think it leans a little bit more on the masculine side. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf, just from the pepper and it has like the cool crispness that it has, the coolness that it has, but it is smooth underneath and a little bit sweet, which is really, really nice. So overall, this is a really successful fragrance and I do think it's worth checking out and picking up because it has great longevity and really nice sillage and it seems to be pretty appropriate for dates time or evening and in professional settings but don't be fooled by the name because I didn't get much of any incense in this fragrance at all so if you're looking for an incense fragrance this isn't the one but it is really nice nonetheless Thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it as always guys if you like my fragrance videos um, and reviews and things like that remember to give this video a thumbs up it lets me know to continue doing videos like this and also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.